Hey everyone. Okay, Jordan and I are here today because we are going to talk to y'all about what's coming on Sunday for Easter. And we have broken out by early arrival, large group, and small groups. So we've got everything ready for y'all and we're going to prep you ahead of time so that you know what's coming and that you have directions for um, how to do everything. Okay, we're starting with early arrival. So it's very easy. You're going to take a piece of cardstock. Jordan's going to hold it up for you. And you're going to take painter's tape and then all, every kid will get a piece of uh, painter's tape about this long. And uh, they will make a cross with it on their cardstock paper. And then they're going to take chalk and they're going to dip it in water. And when they color over it like this, they'll color over the cross like that. And then when they're done, they rip off the tape and it looks like this, okay? So it's just really fun and it's with, it's going to be with a sidewalk chalk so it'll be a little easier and it'll cover more and then they'll just have a really cute cross that they can take home. It's just an early arrival uh, craft for them to do to keep them busy before they come and it goes with Easter. And then after that, we're not going to do games by the way, so it'll just be this. Our games will be put up and we're going to actually put them up in another cabinet so the kids that uh, know that they're there don't go get them. And then for large group, Jordan's going to explain to y'all what's going on. So for first service, we're going to do kind of a pin the peep on the place thing. And on our whiteboard, we're going to have a map drawn up of New Braunfels, like different places they know, like Schlitterbahn, Target, just different places they would know. And then we're going to have three small group leaders. So be ready to get called up and we're going to blindfold you. And they will um, we'll call out a place, and then we'll spin you around, and you'll pin the peep. You have to lick it. Where you think. Yeah. You'll lick it, and then you'll pin the peep where you think this place is on the board. And whoever gets closest wins. So you'll kind of have your small groups, like, cheering you on. And then... In second and third service, we're doing a peep war, and we're kind of going to split it up into three rounds. So the first round will be fourth and fifth graders, and a small group leader will hold the bucket across the room, and we'll have kinder and first a couple of kinder and first graders blocking them, and so they'll try to get as many peeps as they can in the minute or however long we block off for that. Then for or then second and third grader will get up. Kinder and first will still be blocking, and same thing. And then when Kinder and first gets up, they won't have anyone blocking them. And then whoever has the most peeps in their bucket at the end of the three rounds will win some peeps for their group. Yes. And first service, they'll also get whoever, whatever small group leader wins with the map. You'll get to take a package of peeps back to your um, to your people. To your yes. kids. Uh, a note that too that we want to make sure is that you, if you get peeps, please check with your kids to make sure they're not allergic to them. They'll be on their tags. We're going to put a sign out and check in as well. But just ask all your kids, can you have peeps? Are you allergic to peeps? And, and they'll know. Um, and we'll make sure parents know as well. Okay, the, um, the small group activities. Tony chose all of these activities this week and edited everything in Planning Center, and they're awesome activities. We're very excited about them, and we only have an hour, so he, um, he was really thinking of time management and what's going to be really fun. So for Kinder First, they have a game board, and she's going to hold that up. It's going to look like this, except it's going to be a lot bigger. Um, that's just one of the pages yeah. for the game board, so it's going to be a really big game board. You'll get three to four um, I'm sorry, you'll get a game board per, per three to four kids, and these are going to be their cards right here, and they'll like draw a card, and they'll use little buttons as their game pieces, and it's going to just be like Candyland when they go across the board, and it's going to tell the whole story of, um, of Jesus and God's plan, like it starts with Adam and Eve, and it just goes all the way to the resurrection, and that's going to be really fun for them. She's going to laminate them, so they're going to be hard um, and you can, they can play easier on that. And then for second and third grade, this is going to be a really fun activity. They're going to use foil and pipe cleaners 
And you'll have to, if you're a second and third grade leader, you will have to um, get make sure that you look through your curriculum ahead of time because you're going to need to be familiar with the story, the main points. It does list them on your curriculum right here, but um, you need to make sure that you know what the story is too because what they'll do is they'll take their pipe cleaners and they'll take their foil and they're instructed then to use those materials to make a scene from the story or something that represents that story. So this is my little foil Jesus baby. <laughs> looks like a, she said it looks like a starfish. Baby this starfish. is this is baby Jesus starfish. <laughs> and then she made this cross out of pipe cleaners. So they can get as creative as they want, encourage them to do that. And um, they can take that home with whatever they make, they can take that home. And the idea is that um, you just get them talking about creation and Jesus and his, um, his death on the cross and the resurrection. And so that's second and third. And then for fourth and fifth, they will uh, have a timeline. This is all your pieces for the timeline. Uh, just make sure that y'all read through that if you are teaching fourth and fifth grade. And it will it'll be like a really long timeline, like on a there'll be a, um, a, piece, of a piece of tape on down on the ground, like eight feet long. And then they'll go through and make that timeline. It's going to be really neat. I think they'll like it a lot. And uh, so, go ahead. We made two, I made two copies so you can split your fourth and fifth graders up into smaller groups to do it. Yeah. So just be expected to have a lot of kids this week. You're going to probably have double the kids that you usually have. And so that's why we are um, doubling up on the, the supplies and the curriculum. Don't be afraid to split them up in groups if you need to. And we will have youth volunteers who can come in and help with that too. And I think that that is everything that we have. Oh, and be sure to park in the back if you're volunteering because we are running out of parking spots in the front. We are um, planning on 700 people to come attend on Easter morning. Last year we had 615 and the church has grown significantly since then. So we, um, we just ask that y'all help with that and we are excited for what's coming. See you Sunday. Bye. Bye. I don't know how to do this. <laughs>